I'm home when I see this. Mama's Gaako is the true meaning of simple, humble comfort food that you can enjoy around the dinner table with your family. The fish is simmered in caramel and coconut water for the most melt in your mouth experience. Mama ye sek fan, mami te di sek fan, ba me ang kum. Hi, I'm Jeanette, and here at Walking Kin, I share my childhood recipes so you can reconnect with yours. For today's recipe, I'll be showing you how to make Mama's weeknight classic, which is perfect for serving with sliced cucumbers and fresh chili. To start, you'll need a clay pot. Clay pots are thick all around, which is ideal for slow braising the fish. If you don't have one, a standard pan will do. Just make sure that it has enough space to lay all the fish pieces flat so they cook evenly. And it would also help if you can get your hands on a deeper pan because you don't want the coconut water to overflow as it cooks. Gaako is traditionally made using catfish, but Mama uses whatever she can get her hands on, including silver perch and tailor. I personally find it easier to just use pasta steaks. The ones I get are sold frozen, pre-cleaned and pre-cut, which makes them especially easy for a weeknight side dish. I also love them because there aren't as many bones, so you can spend more time eating than picking out bones. To begin the marinade, thinly slice three cloves of garlic, then chop it. Make sure that you do chop it finely so that it can spread onto the fish much easier. Do the same with the two red shallots. If you don't have these, any type of onion will do. Otherwise, just leave it out altogether. Marinate 650 grams of fish with one and a half tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder, one teaspoon of pepper, two tablespoons of fish sauce, half the chopped red shallots, half the chopped garlic and one teaspoon of oil. Mix it all up into the fish and coat each piece well. I like to use my hands for this because they're softer than chopsticks so I can get into all the crevices without breaking any of the meat apart. Don't forget to wipe the bowl clean before you start on the next step. Let the fish marinate for a minimum of 20 minutes, but as with any marinade, the longer the better. If you can leave it to marinate overnight, you'll get the most flavour in the fish. Just remember to take it out 20 minutes before you start braising so that the meat isn't cold and tough. Put your clay pot onto the stove and turn the heat to low. Pour three tablespoons of sugar in and let it melt until golden brown. Add four tablespoons of oil in. Stir to combine, then let it darken a little bit more for a deeper flavour. Now this is important, work very quickly with the sugar because it will burn if you leave it on the heat for too long. Add the remaining red shallots and garlic and stir for 20 seconds before you add in the coconut water. Now, for the coconut water, you can use the bottled version or you can use fresh coconuts. Pour one cup of coconut water into the clay pot and turn the heat to high. Gently put the fish pieces in, laying them flat so the sauce covers their base. Let it simmer for 30 seconds. Then gently flip them over so the sauce coats the other side. Be very gentle so you don't break any of the cooking fish. Pour the remaining marinade into the clay pot. Now let the fish braise on a low medium heat. You can also add the chilies in at this point. Put the lid partially on and let it simmer for one hour or until the fish is soft. While it's braising, finely chop the spring onions so that you can use it as a garnish. When they're chopped, set them aside as the fish cooks. 
After 20 minutes of simmering, you'll notice that the sauce has thickened. Use a spatula to push the sauce over the fish so it colors and flavors evenly on both sides. Continue to let it simmer for another 40 minutes until the sauce has thickened even more. After 20 minutes, garnish the top with the chopped spring onions. And there you have it, Mama's Ga Ko, a Vietnamese braised fish. Here are our family tips for the best results. Number one, make sure to use a flat wooden spatula. This lowers the chance of cutting into the fish the way chopsticks would. Number two, keep the heat on low. You'll prevent the sugar from burning and this will keep the fish very tender. Number three, use fresh coconut water. This will ensure that there are no added sugars or preservatives so you'll get to enjoy its natural sweetness. Just thinking about Mama's Gakko makes me feel so warm inside. She would always give my brother and I the meaty pieces, while she herself would take the parts with the bones so that we could enjoy the meat. I mean, if that's not love, then I don't know what is. She'd also always have a plate of sliced cucumbers to serve with the fish so that it cuts through the richness of the sauce. That crunch was and always will be the most refreshing balance to this comfort food. You can find the full written recipe on our family blog, walkingkin.com, where we share step-by-step -step instructions so you can cook at your own pace. Now, if these memories remind you of home, like this video and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn another one of Mama's weeknight classics for your family dinner, check out her braised chicken wings and mushrooms, and I'll see you in the next video.